Hey you guys, today I'm going to answer one of the questions that a lot of you have asked me many times so I'm going to finally help you out there um, and that would be where do I get my clothes? And it's not an easy question to answer so I'll try and be as detailed as possible and because I guess I've been building up my wardrobe, I don't know if you saw my like wardrobe tour video or my closet confidential video but I've been building that up for a really long time like basically ever since I was able to start buying clothes for myself like when I was earning money as a teenager so pretty much a thousand years ago yeah so there wasn't like a particular time that I just like started buying things of this of this sort of like type that I just always have. Some places don't exist anymore, some things I've bought overseas from shops, some things I've bought locally. Most stuff I've bought on the internet though. Most things I have bought on the internet. So I'm just going to give you a list of my favourite places to buy clothes from and places that I have bought clothes from on the internet as well as lots of other stuff. Uh, you'll see. <laughs> I guess. Let's go. So let's get straight to the guts of it. I think well, undeniably, what you guys ask me the most often is where do you get those fishnet tops? You see me wearing fishnet tops in a lot of my videos, I really like them, they're an extremely versatile kind of staple, they're really good to go underneath things, they, they work with just about everything. I've got two styles of them, firstly I got this, I've got this chunky one, which is pretty cool. I don't actually remember the name of the person I got this from, but I bought this on eBay, and I like this because it's like off the shoulder, I really like off the shoulder stuff. These are extremely easy to find on eBay. Basically, you just have to type in fishnet top, mesh top, uh, fishnet dress. Uh, yeah, a lot of things market themselves as mini dresses. You can get these sorts of chunky tops in lots of different styles and even colours if that's what you're into. It looks a bit sad when it's not on a person, but these are the sort of like standard fishnet tops that I wear. Like, I've got a few of them the same, and like just because they're so extremely versatile and super useful. I bought this one in particular from an eBay seller called Reflecting Rain. I bought a few things from them. They're one of the sellers I really like. But if you really want, if you want to find these, uh, they can be kind of hard to find, but it's just a matter of sort of like fishing around. Now, now the, the last two fishnet tops I bought technically advertise themselves as being a mini dress. Um, which is fine because um, it just means that they're kind of longer in the body. You know, girls can wear them, guys can wear them, anyone can wear them, they're great. You can often find those in, so on eBay there are actually so many really cheap, like sort of fetish lingerie uh, shops from like, usually from sellers in Asia. And you can get, you can get them there usually pretty easily. You can get all kinds of cool accessories there, you can get like those sorts of shops, just to have a look around. If you're an underage person, I'd say probably don't go looking <laughs> in those sorts of shops. Or maybe get someone to look for you or look with you, because um, mm. you can get like fishnet gloves and all kinds of cool accessories and stuff from those sorts of stores, like it's just a matter of using your imagination. And failing that, like if you really want fishnet tops, and I know a lot of you do, like you can just buy a pair of fishnet stockings and just cut the crotch out and cut the feet off and make one yourself, that's the traditional way of doing it. I got this crazy looking doodad from some random shop on eBay, again, with the whole like cheap fetish lingerie stores, like you can get this kind of thing and it's really really cheap. It's a matter of just seeing an item and seeing the potential in it and these sorts of things do make some quite cool accessories. Probably not for every day but for like going out to things and whatever. This garment here is another one that I've bought from one of those sort of cheap lingerie stores. Um, it's like a little mini dress thing but it's just you know again off the shoulder extremely versatile not expensive but very effective now i'll come back to ebay later because there are so many sellers on ebay that i'm fond of and we'll move straight on to actual just like websites very recently i bought two dresses from phase clothing i bought i bought a few things from phase they have like a huge variety of stuff a lot of it's kind of eh. actually the quality is really good or like you could buy something from phase and you'll have it forever i bought recently this honeycomb net dress which is really really long <laughs> big floor length net dress so yeah that's from Phase clothing. The other thing I got from Phase recently was this extremely depressing dress. It's again really long, solid black velvet, long sleeve, high neck. I bought this because it was the most depressing thing I'd ever seen. This is the most depressing dress I've ever seen in my life. I need to own it. Like I said, I will be linking everything in the description box below. This top also came from Phase. A great stretchy, <laughs> gypsy-ish kind of 
lace top. Now I don't have stuff to show you from every particular website, mainly because I can't remember what I got from where. <laughs> you know, some things I might have bought like two years ago or three years ago, I don't know. So here are some websites that I have shopped from and can vouch for as being good and that you should definitely have a look at and the links will be below. I recommend you visit Attitude Clothing, Kinky Angel, Kate's Clothing, The Gothic Shop, The Gothic Catwalk Restyle and Fan Plus Friend. Fan Plus Friend is strictly kind of more towards the Gothic Lolita. It also sells like Sweet Lolita and stuff and Kodona Orgy cosplay sort of things. They do do custom garments if, you, if you're into the kind of aristocrat kind of look or like Victorian fashion or the steampunk kind of stuff. It's kind of on the more expensive side but the quality is incredible. The stuff from there will last forever. Everything can be custom colour, fabric, size. My favourite thing, I mean I've sold a lot of the stuff I bought from there but um, my favourite thing that I bought from there is this, this is the back of it, is this bustle skirt. Now this actually like is massive when you put a uh, a hoop petticoat underneath, which they sell as well. They sell the best hoop petticoats ever, you know, if you're into that sort of thing. So yeah, those sorts of shops are really good. I mean, I think it's a matter of finding out which brands you like the best, and which brands make the sort of style of stuff you like. These days, it's incredibly easy to find cool alternative um, clothing. Never used to be like that. I mean, it was a matter of if you had to make everything yourself, or it was really hard to find things. And now it's everywhere, and we have the internet. Everything's like super connected, and there are shops, and it's, it's easier now than it's ever been to find cool clothes and accessories and stuff. Once you have a good feel for what sort of style you're into, what sort of things you like, be it a traditional look or a Victorian look or a punk rock sort of look, just whatever, there are so many brands that will fulfill your every dream. You've probably heard me talk about my favourite brands before. I love lip service. It's so expensive, but sometimes you can get some quite good bargains. Um, from online auctions. Punk Rave, uh, you know, Red Queen's Black Legion. Jawbreaker as well is good. Spin Doctor, Necessary Evil, Criminal Damage. Raven, Mercy, Seven Deadly. Hell Bunny's good, I'm a lot, I'm not as into it now as I used to be. There's heaps of brands, there's just more and more stuff coming out. Anyway, let's move on to eBay sellers. One of the eBay sellers, I know I've definitely mentioned a whole bunch of times to your questions on like Ask Your Fam or Tumblr or whatever. I've bought quite a few clothes from a, an eBay seller called Dysfunctional Doll. Like that's where I got this sort of thing. They just have this fantastic variety of, I don't know, everything I like. Clothing and accessories and jewellery. Love it. I think I also got this belt from there, which is undeniably my favourite belt. But I'd say, um, like I said, one of my favourite brands being Punk Rave and like Red Queen's Black Legion and that. I have bought probably most of my wardrobe from sellers such as Hammer Hiroko, The Little Chili Shop, Jill Punk Lolly, and Girl Do Rock. Now Punk Rave clothing, I've seen it sold on a lot of different websites and from all my shopping around, I feel like these are the places that you can get it for the best price. So, I mean, like loads of other websites sell it, Definitely after all my shopping around best price on these websites all listed below for your browsing fun times it's Like this sort of stuff Like this top here. This is one I usually like to wear on dinner dates. Everything about this top is beautiful and flattering and has a pretty pattern and they have a lot of like really impressive skirts I quite like I mean, I like stuff that's really big and frilly. I also like stuff that's really raggedly. So they, I feel like just all the stuff that Punk Rave and that designs is just absolutely perfect, my taste. The skirt is also from there. Well, like I couldn't actually say like who sold me what, but yeah, like actually most of my wardrobe I have bought from those stores that I just mentioned. I've also shopped at Atomic Cherry. I found some great things there. Definitely one of my favorite eBay sellers is Violent Delights. I feel like Violent Delights just keeps getting better and better. Like whoever you people are, I love you. I do. Basically just take every all these links and just, you know, open a bunch of windows, have a browse and 
let the world open up before your eyes fall down the rabbit hole have fun and also on ebay you can get some really good bargains just by searching around you type in like um a brand you like and just search for like price lowest to highest you can actually find second hand really cool stuff that you could probably get for quite a good bargain that's definitely worth checking every now and then but ebay really has pretty much everything there's so much stuff there that's really cheap I guess it's just a matter of using your imagination, like one day I decided I'd quite like some black velvet leggings, type in black velvet leggings, cool, $11, whatever, $5, I've got a pair of socks coming from eBay that cost about 2 bucks. you can get cool tights that are about 2 or $3, oh man there are drunk people outside, come on it's Wednesday, it's a Wednesday and it's raining, like what are you even doing? If you haven't discovered Etsy.com yet, do it. Etsy is just this marvellous, wonderful place full of everything. People open their individual Etsy stores and a lot of, most of it's like handmade stuff. You can get some really beautiful, unique clothing and accessories, things that nobody else has, things that you won't find in shops, things that you won't find anywhere else. Go have a look at Etsy. Do it. Now one of the other primary places that I buy my clothes is just from Town. Again, and seeing the potential in things, I've bought a lot of stuff, a lot of clothing from Kmart, the warehouse. And for those of you overseas who don't know what that is, it's basically just one of those big kind of department stores that sells pretty much everything for really cheap. And also even from mainstream chain stores like Glassons and JJ's and Valley Girl and that sort of thing. I don't like going into these shops and I feel horribly judged whenever I do. But if you really have a look around, you can find some quite good like staple items in those sorts of shops. For example, like what, I, what I've got on at the moment, this tank top, I wear, I have so many of these tank tops, I would actually, I think I must have about eight, eight or nine of these. They're from Kmart, you know. The other place that you should definitely try to find things, op shops and thrift shops. And every time you go into them, they never have the same stuff, so it's quite a lot of fun. I know a lot of people love to go thrifting. I've seen a lot of like thrift hauls and stuff here on YouTube. Like the other thing I'm wearing, this little crop cardigan thing, that's from an op shop. It was like $3. I have loads and loads of stuff from op shops. So yeah, like don't be afraid to just go into these sort of mainstream chain stores on the, on the street. You can find some good stuff there. If there's anywhere else that you like to shop on the internet, you know, comment below, let me know about it. Because, I mean, I personally am always wanting to check out new places as well. But yeah, it definitely pays to shop around. Like, you might see an item you really like, go, oh, that's kind of expensive. It's definitely worth searching other websites, foreign country websites, eBay, whatever, for the same item, and you, you might surprise yourself. Like, I've seen the same item for sale, like, you know, at a third of the price elsewhere from where I first found it. And make a list of bookmarks of your favourite shops. Uh, the ones I've given you are a good starting point. They are just the ones that I have bought stuff from before. Well, I really, really hope that you guys have... Oh, my god, it's hailing outside so much. I hope it's not too noisy. Goodness me. I really, really hope you guys have found this helpful. Yeah, any more questions, just feel free to ask. All good with that. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I do put out two new videos every week. I love you all very much, uh, take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time.